It's now been one week since Australian baseball player Chris Lane was gunned down in Oklahoma. In his case, two out of three suspects are black, the youngest of whom tweeted a few months ago, quote, 90% of white people are nasty, hashtag hate them. The reaction from the public has been one of immense sadness, but many are now asking why this case is not being treated thus far as a hate crime and why the reaction garnered in the Trayvon Martin case is largely absent. Former Congressman Alan West wondered in a tweet where the outrage was by society and the media, asking who will the president identify with this time, and said this in a phone interview. If you're going to get involved in racial divisive politics, then uh, again, you're going to be called out for the hypocrisy that it seems to be happening right now. But when asked if the situation could be compared to the case of Trayvon Martin, Reverend Jesse Jackson says they don't compare, and instead, brings up another case. They seem to have forgotten when two whites went to black men looking for somebody to kill just a year ago, just last June, June the 5th, and killed three and, 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 and shot five. And that is really more of an equivalent. In another disturbing case, an 88-year-old World War II veteran, Delbert Shorty Belton, was beaten to death outside of a lodge. Both suspects in that case, seen in surveillance photos here, are also black. According to the Office of Juvenile Justice, the black to white murder arrest rate is six to one. So do we, as a society, react differently? There's a long history uh, and lots of scientific studies that show that people really do see uh, crime uh, and criminal issues in racial terms. Professor Clarence Lusane says for black suspects, there is a presumption of criminality rather than innocence. As far as why the president so far is refraining from comment? I think as president, and I think he understands this, you simply can't speak out on every single issue in the news. What remains to be seen is how these new murders will play out and what factor race will play this time around. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.